Loose Women is known for its lively debate where clashes aren't uncommon, even sometimes spilling off the set and into reality. From show disagreements, we delve into Carol McGiffin's departure from the daytime show. She was a regular on Loose Women until she took a five-year break in 2013. She returned in 2018 but quit again last year and later claimed she had been kicked off the show. Known for her strong opinions, the outspoken panelist, 64, once accused the World Health Organization, WHO, of a plot during the coronavirus pandemic. After leaving the show, she told former GB News presenter Dan Wooden that her opinions were the reason for her exit from the ITV show. I can say that over the last three years especially I've been, I wouldn't say censored, but I have been restricted in what I could say. You know what my views are on these controversial matters, so to speak because I've been talking to you about them for the last three years on another station, which I got kicked off of by the way for having those views, she said. So everybody knows what my views are, and I think Therese absolutely no doubt there were people at ITV who didn't like me having those views. Carol originally joined the weekday series in 2000 and previously took aim at show bosses for an alleged totally unjust contract dispute. An ITV spokesperson said at the time, ITV will not comment on speculation around individual contracts. We understand that Carol has decided to leave Loose Women and we wish her well in any future projects. In a follow-up statement, a spokesperson added, ITV will not comment on or disclose details of individual contracts but all ITV contracts comply with the relevant external legislation. Carol told Best Magazine how the stress over upcoming contract negotiations had impacted her life. She said, I haven't been on the show for two months now because I've had to step away from it. It was causing me too much stress, which was mostly down to a difficult contract issue we'd been challenging since January. The problem was, ITV were insisting, for the first time since I went back in 2018, that if I wanted to carry on doing the show, I would have to sign a contract that was totally unjust and unworkable for me, so I had to say no thanks. And I know it looks like I've thrown my toys out of the pram, but the whole saga was affecting my health, 